This is Rose and Joseph from St. Mary's Malangara Catholic Church, Sagrada. I am here to speak about St. Jude, the Apostle of Jesus. St. Jude, known as Tadeus, was a brother of St. James and a relative of the Lord Jesus. The twelve apostles, also referred to as the twelve disciples, or simply the twelve were Jesus Christ's twelve closest followers. Each of them were major leaders in the movement which became Christianity and helped spread the gospel throughout the world. Saint Jude is also known as Jude of James, Judas of James, Tadeus, Judas Tadeus, and Lebaus. Some identify him with Jesus' brother Jude, the traditional author of the epistle of Jude. But the Bible doesn't tell us that these Jude are the same people. The American Apostolic Church honors Tadeus along with the same Bartholomew as is the patron saint. In Roman Catholic Church, he is the patron saint of desperate cases and lost causes. Saint Jude's attribute is a club. Another common attribute is Jude holding an image of Jesus Christ, known as the image of Edessa. This idea comes from an apocryphal story in which King Abgar of Edessa asked Jesus to cure him of his leprosy and sent an artist to bring him a drawing. Impressed with Abgar's great faith, Jesus pressed his face into a cloth and gave it to Saint Jude to take to King Abgar. Upon seeing Jesus' image, the king was cured and he was converted into Christianity along with most of the people under his rule. Legend has it that Saint Jude was born into a Jewish family in Penance, a town in Galilee, portion of ancient Palestine, the same region that Jesus grew up in. He probably spoke Greek and Arabic and he was a farmer by trade. There is a tradition which holds that after the resurrection of Jesus, Saint Jude Tadeus retrieved our Lord's burying tomb, which many believe to be the shroud of truth. He eventually brought it to Edessa in the present day Turkey. From there, he travelled in the area of Armenia. The Armenian tribe traces its origin to Saint Jude Tadeus. Then he preached the gospel in Mesopotamia, where he was joined by Saint Simon. From there, they did missionary work in Persia, where they suffered martyrdom. Saint Jude was beaten to death. Saint Simon was sawed into pieces. Their feast day is October 28th. In the Antokian tradition, their feast day falls on 19th of June. Saint Jude has proven to be a true friend and a beacon of hope for those who call on him, always willing to help and seek him, no matter how desperate the need. And in today's tumultuous time, we need him more than ever. Let us pray to Saint Jude. Thus, most holy apostle Saint Jude, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases, of things most despaired of. Pray for me, I am so helpless and alone. I implore you of that particular privilege give to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and help of heaven in all my necessities, tribulation and suffering, and that I may praise God with you and all the elect forever. I promise, O blessed Saint Jude, 
to be ever mindful of this great favor to always honor you as my special and powerful patron i gratefully encourage devotion to 